Seems like violence is becoming ever so more prominent in Argentinian football. A really horrible story to report on today, unfortunately, but we wanted to to, to bring it up here to discuss. Uh, Cesar Flores, a referee, was shot dead uh, in a local game, um, refereeing an amateur football match in Argentina. Um, and unfortunately, the, the, the culprit has not been found as of yet. According to locals, three shots were fired after he was sent off in a game and angrily responded uh, shooting the referee at the time in the one, I believe, in the head, the chest, and the neck. Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, horrible, like just horrible. And uh, not a new subject to cover on TYT Sports, I believe we covered earlier in the year, um, or last year, I believe. Basel Saad um, uh, punched a referee in 2015, received 8 to 15 years for involuntary manslaughter. Um, and then the year before, I believe, in Utah, a 17 year old um, punched a referee in which the referee was knocked. <coughs> unconscious and actually died uh, later for his injuries. The thing about this is it's 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 becoming somewhat of a staple to Argentinian football at the moment. The violence, not as drastic as this, but it's associated with the game we've seen. And not just at the amateur level, but all the way up to the senior level. We see a friendly between River Plate and Boca Juniors receive five red cards. Of course, none as violent as this, but... And then before... You don't want it to be. Amateur, you don't want it to become cultural. It's becoming. It seems like it's becoming cultural, and it's not. It's not rare to this amateur league as well. I, uh, according to reports last year, a player punched a referee and knocked him unconscious as well between Ferro and Tiro Federal. So there's a well. There's a big difference between punching a referee and pulling a gun on a referee. But uh, both in these examples, this is what people are assuming. Like punching a referee, ah, I'm not going to kill him. It's happened now three or no, four no, times. No, no, no. I know, but it's I, it, at the same time. Um, you're shooting, you're intentionally the shooting. Fa I mean, the fact that it's happening, I mean, just at the amateur levels, is terrifying. First of all, don't take the game that seriously. I get that it's it's your livelihood. I understand that could be your, it could be your career. Yeah. But uh, rarely, and I mean rarely, are those situations a matter of life and death. And the only reason I actually bring up the idea of rarely being life and death is look at the attacks that happened in Paris. That's a different cultural impact yeah. on it being life or death. But just getting sent off for a red card... Uh, even if it was a red card that was not deserving, unjust, yeah. unjust, even if it was a yellow card that's not unjust, you have no reason to go into a locker room, come back out with a gun, and kill somebody. Yeah, and, and trust me, I've, I've been, no, that's and that's all I got. Yeah, to say. I, I've I've been in situations where I'm infuriated at a referee's decision. Talk, talked about this before in previous clips. Never in my life would I ever think I want to physically harm that referee. Um, I mean, in my head, I might be thinking, I hate this referee. I'd love to knock him out, but. It's a certain deal of respect for the game. It's a certain deal of respect for referees. And again, I touch on this every single time. I don't care what the severity is of you approaching a referee, whether you push him, whether you grab his notebook and rip it up, whether you uh, uh, attack him, you are disrupting and disrespecting the game. Because these referees, especially in this, this is what kills me more than anything else, is that it's an amateur referee just doing it for fun. Oh, he's just doing it for fun. Sure. He's not getting. He might be getting paid a, a brief buck here just to do something. Because referees, is popular to, to to most opinions I see, is they love the game. They love to sit and watch the game and have an opinion on helping it move. That is what they're there to do: to direct traffic, to help move the game, to keep players safe. That referee's job, main job, is to keep you safe. So why don't you just do us a fucking favor and keep him safe? Because that is ridiculous. The fact is that this has happened. The fact is that it happened. In, in terms of a player punching a referee, and that's what I was going to mention there. I know you didn't mean that it's it's a little, it is more severe when you go to shoot a referee, you're intentionally trying to kill him. But even more so, what's frustrating is the examples in which I didn't try to I didn't try to kill him, I just punched him. Well, don't fucking punch him in the first place. He's there to do a job for you. Is that the game won't happen unless that referee puts himself into that position. So it is obviously a sore subject and it does nothing but tarnish the reputation of Argentinian football and Associated with River Plate and Boca Juniors, they had five red cards. It seems like it's becoming more acceptable within the leagues to be a little bit more violent towards your, your opposition players, a little bit more rash in how you approach the game. And the referee in that River Plate and Boca Juniors game had to send off five guys. Like Argentinian football, at the moment, for me, is out of control. Yeah. A little bit out of control. So uh, short clip here. I just wanted to bring that uh, to your attention. So, of course, thoughts and prayers are with uh, the referee's family, Cesar Flores. Uh, really unfortunate hate to see it in the game but we want to know what you guys think is Argentinian football out of control at the moment uh, what can what can what steps can we take to try and protect referees um, because it seems like this is happening a little bit more so than, than we would really like to see so uh, make sure to hit us in the comment section below at TYT Sports Jason Rubin and at Francis uh, underscore Maxwell thanks again